Good morning, Mr. Buzz. How's it going? Very well, Alex. How are you? I'm very good, sir. I'm very good. So, yeah, this week we have another one at the cinema. Uh, it's Ridley Scott's latest called The Last Duel. And wait for it, because there's quite a few important names in there. So it's directed by Ridley Scott. Uh, three, the three main actors are Matt Damon, Jodie Comer and Adam Driver, mm -hmm. which pretty much is a good, good formula to start with. And yeah. it's uh, and on top of that, the genre is, is a medieval, happens in medieval times in 1400, say, 14th century um, France. Yes. So, it, and it revolves around um, one traumatic event that um, Jodie Comer's character has. What's her name? Uh, Carus, I think. Uh, uh, yeah, Mar Mar Marguerite. Marguerite. Marguerite Carus Mar is Marguerite her Carus name. Marguerite yeah. Carus is her name. Um, told from three different perspectives of these three characters. So, Matt Damon's character, Sir Jean Carus, uh, is her husband. Yeah, at the and, time. He becomes, and then he becomes a knight, doesn't he? And he's a squire he beforehand, a knight, yeah. but he becomes Correct. a knight, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because of his fightings on the on His the, fighting skills, war. yeah. Yeah. And then Adam Driver is also um, a squire and he's, I can't remember his name, Lucrece um, or something like that. Uh, no, it's uh, ja Jacqueline Degree. Ja Jacqueline Degree. De Degree, yeah. yeah. And so basically, um, while he's away, while Matt Damon's character is away, um, she is left by herself in this massive property castle and she, under various circum different circumstances, she is abused sexually by Adam Driver's character. Yeah, Jacqueline Green, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and they, it comes to, um, once this is um, discovered and the whole society knows and everything, it comes to a point where to get his revenge and to, to, to get the, to make it right, to put it right, um, Jodie Comer's character comes out. She doesn't back up during a time when women were property, basically. Yeah. And she fights for her you know she speaks revenge. out doesn't she yeah she, she speaks, speaks out she speaks and out she gets against to a it, yeah. point where this duel needs to happen between matt character yeah. matt damon's character and, 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 and hence the title of the last duel because obviously i think after this particular duel was it was it outlawed i think it was uh, yeah well they, they, it, it was this is that so references this is the yeah. last time this happened yeah yeah because it's it was a um after that, well, the, the duel basically it says that I if think, you win think, this think, duel, think means that the... God has chosen you to yeah, win. Yeah, yeah. So it's like it's like this was the last legally sanctioned one. It probably happened exactly. quite a lot after this in many other yeah. countries, but it's like legally sanctioned by the court of law, by the Majesty himself, because... his lordship. Uh, and, yeah. and as you say, it's almost like um, it's kind of like a bit of a, te a religion does tie itself in with this film quite a bit because there is a little bit of script writing involved. Um, mm -hmm. by Marguerite and, and, and her husband about how, uh, you know, it's God's will, it's God's will, and uh, he will protect yes. us if you're telling the truth. And there's a little bit of scepticism at the end by Marguerite saying, no, it's not God's will. At the end of the day, it's just two old men fighting and whoever wins decides my child's life and my life. It's my got life. nothing yeah, to do with right, God, yeah. essentially, which is yeah. which is like so, there's, a big, there's a big influence of God in that that era, obviously, that, you know, oh, okay, well, absolutely. if you're telling the truth, then God will protect you. And it's like that absolutely. in itself is bollocks, but it's another part of the story, isn't it? And also one of the, the I mean, the, the taking the clergy, I think, was another way of getting rid of, getting away from a potential sentence, which is what, uh, Lucrece's character was Adam Driver's character was considering when he gets into the legally legally remember that when he yeah yeah was priest, he, was what he, should I do? Um, it's like if you if you join the clergy essentially it will it will wipe your yeah, slate, you slate clean of any convictions exactly exactly so it's a lot of of that in but what what I found interesting and I want to ask is this the structure of the film obviously the film looks amazing and the, the I mean because you would expect that high quality of craftsmanship from Ridley Scott and his yeah. crew. Um, but what did you thought of the structure? Because it's... The structure, with, yeah, especially, the, the scene, especially the seeing things from three points movie, of view. Because yeah. obviously, like, you see the first uh, scene, um, it's uh, Sir Jean uh, Carus. De Cruz. Um, yeah, Carus, yeah. yeah. And uh, that's that's the chapter one. Uh, and then, uh, you know, about a third away the way in, it goes to chapter two. So you've seen Jacqueline Degree. And then finally, um, Marguerite. probably Marguerite. Mo most, in most importantly, uh, Marguerite's point of view, which really does just showcase the world that we're seeing yes. to be a bit, you know, um, 
to masculine, shall we say, is a For sure. yeah, yeah. It, isn't it? Way and that, but it really does because up until that point, you think Matt Damon's character, uh, Sir John uh, Carouge, you actually think he's quite a knight in shining armor, and he's kind of like you know, save this woman from her kind of like because that's, because authoritarian that's his, his dad. His story. And that's yeah. the way, that's his story. Yeah, that's yeah. how he sees it. And then, so Matt Damon, up until her her final chapter three, her version of it, actually seems like quite the guy. And then he yeah. realised, well, actually, she's trapped in this, this kind of not abusive relationship, but just kind of just stale. She obviously doesn't enjoy it. And that's why, like, when, um, when it does come to the jewel at the end... And I was kind of thinking, it. I know obviously <laughs> in one world of events that it's better if obviously yeah. her husband wins. But uh, either, whoever wins, she's yeah. not really got it fantastic, has she? Would you agree with that, Alex? Would Correct, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it when you're watching like... it at the end, you're thinking whoever wins, she's kind of lost. She's definitely not anyway. it. Yeah, she never, she's definitely yeah, hasn't, yeah. hasn't won actually even mm. even if the duel resolves in one way or the other the least worst it yeah. doesn't it doesn't look like it doesn't feel like she's and that that's what i i felt a bit shocked that she's literally like a piece of land throughout this whole film and whatever she says it's hard for her to be believed from friends to society around her to husband to everything basically even yeah, it's like in front her, of her the king shaming her. Her, her shame in a man's ego is like a, the worst crime ever can yes. be committed, you know. But but just to what you're saying about how it's filmed and stuff like this, you know, um, I've seen a couple of films like this before. I mean, like, there was a film called Go, uh, which had Tom Cruise's ex-wife in it. I uh, can't remember Katie her name Holmes. now. Katie but Holmes. That, Katie Holmes, yeah. That was, like, in the 90s, and that was a film that was pretty good. That was shown from the, the same event, shown from, like, three or four different perspectives. That was good. Uh, and then obviously there's Run, Load, Run, but that's not really kind of the same thing because that's a uh, film shown from one person. Yeah. But they, they change things slightly in the story and they keep going back in time. So it's kind of like Groundhog Day and how they play. Anyway, so, but yeah, it, 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 it for me, it didn't really work that well, um, mm -hmm. you know, because it's like you meant to notice the nuanced differences and stuff. I didn't really think it worked that well, but I kind of appreciate it when filmmakers do ideas like that, you know, that yeah, are a yeah. bit different to your normal, Definitely. like kind of run, run of the mill. Definitely courageous ones. because I found it is a modern type of structure put in a yeah. very old type of film because any historical film you see needs to be linear. It's hard to go and jump time-wise and stuff in a historical mm. film. Mm. Imagine Saving Private Ryan seeing it, uh, you know, yeah, the final be battle. Yeah, 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 that would be weird. Be it's not, not because do. it won't yeah. work, but just because it's a, it's a newer type of structure of a film more than, than the, the linear one when you want to see where it starts and where it ends with a historical yeah. film. Um, so yeah, it, it is a, a bit courageous and it can be uh, dull at some point because you get the same scene you, you, repeated. I was going to say, it, it was quite a few scenes that we were seeing. Quite, and it might just be seconds as well, but you know, like a few of the, the meetings of all the three main characters, like you mm -hmm. saw them quite a few times, actually. I was surprised at how much we were seeing of the same stuff. Um, but yeah, just on the subject we of forgot Ridley to, Scott, to uh, mention uh, uh, Ben Affleck yeah. is in this film also. I don't yeah, know Ben Affleck, know. Ben Affleck, yeah, he's playing... Um, and also Perry, the, inter Perry, the other Perry, interesting Perry. fact, P Perry, yeah, the, one of the landlords, the other interesting yeah. fact is actually it was written by three people. Uh, obviously, Ben Affleck and Matt Damon did the script, and I think the the third is a lady called Nicola something. But actually, all of them have written their own chapters in. Ah, right, yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, it's from yeah. a woman's perspective and from two men's perspective, which is interesting. Yeah, but yeah, Ridley Scott, favorite film, sir. Uh, well, weirdly spot, yeah? enough, yeah, uh, the, Mar the Martian definitely not this is one. Film, <laughs> no. No, 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 nowhere near. Uh, but, 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 but the Martian's one that I've actually watched the most. I've watched like three times now. Uh, but I think that's just coincidence, to be honest. Really, um, I'd have to. I think I'd have to say Prometheus, just because as far as thought-provoking ideas go and good sci-fi, that yeah, hits yeah. the bill for me. Correct. Uh, I think. I think that's. I think he's probably done a better standard of film <laughs> over the years. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the film that I actually really enjoyed, and that got a lot of flack. That film for having. Um, problems with it and it not really making sense in the science fiction world and there was a lot of bad directing but I, I enjoyed it anyway Matt yeah. so I'm going to say yeah. Prometheus yeah. what about you? Good. Uh, I would say Gladiator to be honest still up there but Black yeah, Hawk Black that was, Hawk, what was one I was thinking it's quite, of it's quite hard to choose because he's got Black Hawk Down and Alien and um, Blade Runner and things like that so 
But anyway, this is definitely not the right film. It's a good film. It's called The Last Duel. It's in cinemas. Um, and uh, it, it's not his best, but it's, I think it's worth it. Yeah, and I would, I would say if you, if you go into a cinema expecting Gladiator Part 2, then don't no, go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. <yeah. laughs> makes sense. Makes sense. I'm just saying. <laughs> right. Talk to you later, sir. All right. Take care, Alex. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.